Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up. I'm ready to do some cooking for today. So today I was thinking like, what food am I going to make? Because you know, you have to feed your family all the time. They eat, right? So what are some things I can make today without having to run to the store? What's something I can make that I have stuff in my freezer and in my pantries and you know, it's, it's coined a whole lot of different names. Your freezer cooking, pantry cooking, staple cooking, all these things. Basically what you have in your home cooking that people have been doing for a long time over the years. So where I learned to cook was from Mennonite families. And so they have taught me to cook. I feel like my cooking is good and I've learned to like stretch meals, make delicious, wholesome, filling meals with things that you have in your home. Of course, you have to go shopping and pick those things up first, but as long as you have a staple, nice selection, you pretty much can make some of these meals. So today I'm gonna to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's gonna be hearty meals that are very cost effective that you can make for your family that have been tried into true and delicious in our home and they're just a delicious Mennonite recipes that we have enjoyed eating over the years. So what I've got going right now is some sausage. I bought breakfast sausage, I think it was less than like a dollar for a roll of it. So it's cooking over here. I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole. I don't do a lot of breakfast. My kids would used to eat a lot of breakfast. They're kind of moving out of the phase of eating breakfast and just moving on to lunch, dinner, and a snack, which is okay, whatever, whatever life, however it rolls. But we do enjoy a good breakfast meal. And so I have a lot of eggs because I bought a lot of eggs last month when I went. I thought, hmm, I need to make some kind of breakfast here. So this was, a, I'm not, I, let, I don't mind breakfast casseroles. Like we've made them before, but like certain ones I just don't love. This one we really, really do love having. And we make it, it has mushrooms and stuff in it. I don't put the mushrooms in it at all because I know my kids would not eat it that way. But it uses cream and mushroom soup in it, which is different, but it makes the flavor really, really well. So what I'm doing over here is cooking the, the sausage. If you don't have sausage, you can use ground beef. You can use ground turkey. It doesn't matter. It's just some kind of meat in there to give you a little bit more, you know, stability, a little bit more yum in your food. So whatever you have, whatever you can get that's cheap, cook it. That's what I'm doing over there. So that's going to cook. You can put, season it with salt and pepper and onions and gar I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in it, right? Yes, garlic. I thought garlic was in it. There is garlic. I'm not going to cut up an, oh, actually I do have an onion. Do I cut up the onion? I do have onion. Let me cut up the onion. I was thinking I'll go grab my minced onions. Use dried onions. That's easier. You don't have to worry about chopping it. I'll use my, I have some in the refrigerator. I know, it's just pure lazy. I would buy chopped onions and just use those. <laughs> I don't mind cutting up onions. Onions are fine. Just cut them up. So I have this from yesterday, last night's dinner. So I'm gonna cut half of this up and then um, you can do peppers in it too. I'm again, not gonna add all that to my stuff. So this is cooking. Let me chop up some onions. We're gonna add to it, it's delicious. It's a great day. Breakfast is rolling. Breakfast casserole, midnight casserole, delicious. Let's go. Okay, this smells really good. So you want your meat, and I thought, whatever you have, turkey, ground beef, anything that's inexpensive, if you don't have any of it, don't worry about it, just do the vegetables. You do what you can do for your family. You can do bacon, anything. Bacon, bacon would be really good, I'm sure, too. So this is all heated up with the onions, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a can of diced potatoes. I'm cheating. You can take, like, real potatoes, fresh potatoes, and cut them up. You can do, um, I used to get, I don't think they had diced when I was looking. I always had like sliced ones, a whole ones. I used to put whole ones in the pan. And so that was a good way to do it. But these were diced from Walmart, so 50 cents, can't beat that. <laughs> I don't have to chop them. So this is gonna just saute in here. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in there. So you just wanna cook this a little bit if your, if your potatoes were um, not cooked already. Mine are already cooked, so I don't have to worry about them cooking too much. I just pour it over the side. That's always good. So let this cook. Let that sit. Put this in the trash. Okay, while that's over there, I'm coming over here and I'm going to get out a mixing bowl and I'm going to do eggs. Now I added, I'm doubling kind of my 
thing a little bit. So I'll put the original recipe on the screen. So you see me do more than 10 eggs. Why are you doing more than 10 eggs? Because I'm, I'm breaking my rules and going a little bit extra on here. So do whatever you can. Eggs are, if eggs are too expensive in your area, like these I got for real cheap, then don't worry about it. But this breakfast will make a whole lot for the week. You can put it in the refrigerator and people can um, just eat it up as you can. That's what's good about it. It's like, yes, eggs cost money, but if you break up, like you put more with it, then it'll stretch out for the week and everybody can have some. And then serve this casserole like on toast to kind of stretch it a little bit more like bagels or English muffins, just something to kind of stretch it out a little bit so it's not just the casserole. If you serve just the casserole, of course it's gonna be, everyone's gonna eat more of the casserole, but if you serve it with other things. Okay. I wasn't sure how many eggs I was using. These are medium sized eggs, so I'm gonna actually do all these eggs. Do whatever, whatever you can do for the family. But like I said, serve it with toast. It'll help stretch it as well because then they'll have the eggs because then the bread will fill them up as well. You gotta do what you gotta do in these times. I get you, especially if you've got a large family. Bread you can still get pretty cheap. All right, we're doing all those eggs in here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just mix this up. Get yourself a whisk, which where is my whisk at? Not in here. Dishwasher. So actually, what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to make some, I don't have any um, milk at all. So this is powdered milk. So I'm going to mix this up here in a glass. Have some powdered milk on hand so you don't have to feel like you have to run to the store every time you need something. Because look at, nobody knows any difference. It's going in your baking. Especially if you get it pretty cheap. So that'll be there. Okay, well, let's whip these up real quick. I'm going to just add everything together. You're going to add the milk in here and then I'm also going to add cream of mushroom. I had to freeze mine because I had a big, um, like the family size. Hold on, let me stir this. Okay, keep that going over there so it kind of gets brown. I had to um, freeze some of mine because last week I used, what did I mix with it? We made something with the cream of mushroom soup and so we didn't use it all. So I was going to reuse it and I never did so I just put it in the freezer. It works great. It like, look at it, it freezes up. Thaw is just good, so you can make your own soup, which, which is, I've done that many, many times. It tastes delicious and it's good, but you can buy a can of cream mushroom soup and it's not really bad. <laughs> it's more flavorful with the other way, homemade, but it's good. So this is that. I'm going to put the soup right in here. Yes, mix it all together. It's weird, one of those cream mushroom with your eggs, but it tastes really, really good. I feel like I need to come up here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is, you can cook this in your pan all you want, but I'm going to put mine in the oven. I've always baked this in the oven and liked it that way. You can just cook it on here, but we're going to do this the way that I've always done. When you're doing food and like my pan over there has like a little bit of you know, burned on from the, the meat. Fill it up with water and soap, let that sit. It'll help when you go to clean it off much easier. So just put this right here. I was gonna spray the pan, but I totally forgot to do that. That's okay. So then just pour your egg mixture over top. So good, and then Parmesan cheese. Yes, this is the mystery, delicious, not mystery. I think the cream mushroom would be mystery, but Parmesan cheese on top, it's so good. So put that on top, and then I'm gonna bake it in my oven for about a half hour. I'm gonna cover it, and I'll put the lid off and do the rest. So let me get some foil. Okay, the oven's not completely ready yet, but it will. It's at 150. It's getting there. So that's going to be breakfast. Breakfast casserole, put in the oven, you're done. You can mix it up, put it in your refrigerator, and then in the morning, take it out, put it in your oven. I've done that over the years, and that's a really good way too. So that will be finished, all done with breakfast day. We'll bring it out and show you how delicious and yummy it is. 
Okay, we're moving right along. So you know what to know another inexpensive meal to feed your family that doesn't cost a whole lot and you can make it very easy and it's delicious is you can either call it a Mexican grilled cheese or a quesadilla. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Or tortilla with beans and rice or beans and <laughs> cheese. Whatever it is, this is inexpensive. I can get my tortillas too for a dollar. So they are very expensive for our family, inexpensive for our family. You can make them. I've, I've tried making them one time. It didn't work very well, but that's okay. Refried beans very inexpensive i bought like i can get a big giant huge can of it for like 250 so for me it was cheap just to buy it but get yourself a bunch of pinto beans cook them in your pressure cooker or on your stove however you want to do that i didn't even add any i don't add any seasonings or anything to it which you can and then just freeze them freeze them and then or freeze them that way or you can take them out when they're done cooking and you can puree them right then in there pour them in containers and you have refried beans, very simple. I don't fry them back on the stove, some people do that, I haven't done that. But we, my, my kids will have like canned stuff and then they'll be like, that doesn't taste like the real stuff, but it's just different. So inexpensive way, you don't need cheese, and you can add cheese, I add refried beans and cheese. If you don't have cheese, just like stretch your cheese as much as you can, but you can add chopped up chicken, any kind of meat that you have that you can chop up. You can create anything, you put salsa on it, whatever your kids like. Like this to me, I can spread this out and my kids can like, they'll eat this and they'll love it. And it's got the, the beans in it, it's got a little bit of cheese, so they've got a nice hearty meal that will fill them up for lunch. So I'm gonna make these and then just cook them over here on my stove, really simple. So this is a really inexpensive way for lunch to have for your kids or your family, anybody, and for you as well. Even chopped up hard boiled eggs on there with some cheese, whatever. Like beans are probably the most inexpensive. You can also put rice in there if you want it more filling. Whatever you want to add, just like whatever your kids like, this will be really good. I find that if I, if I let the kids make them, they'll just put more cheese, but if your mom makes them, they put the beans on and they'll eat the beans. <laughs> so just thin layer of beans and put your cheese on. That's not a whole lot. That's inexpensive meal for everybody to eat so this is going to cook up i'm cooking some meat here we're going to do dinner as well so we're getting there but we'll cook up lunch so i'm all about gathering those fragments up and using so i'm going to make a few more see how many more i can make here and if you know what somebody will eat it today for a snack or they'll just eat it because they like it or we'll have it for tomorrow either way nothing goes to waste around here at all not very very little goes to waste around here someone's always grabbing something to eat so i think out of that whole container probably get 10 of these so that's pretty good more in here. A good way, my lid's all busted. A good way to gather up your fragments, make some meals out of things you have, and look at the cheese is even going to be used up to. If regular cheese is too expensive, buy the sliced fake cheese. Whatever, any kind you can get just to get the little flavor in there. So let me flip these over here. Okay, lunch is finished right here. A bunch of these, delicious. This will be great for lunch. Kids will eat this up, it's good. So now we're gonna move on to dinner. So for dinner, I'm going to make a bubble pizza. I haven't made this since probably Jane and Brooklyn were little kids. Another inexpensive meal 
take it to whatever extreme you want however however much meat and however much stuff you have you just have I didn't have I remember back in the day I didn't have a lot of extra meat so I would just use um, a little bit of bacon bits because it was inexpensive and pepperoni was inexpensive use what you want I'm gonna fill mine with meat you do not have to you do what you can do for your home so I've got ground beef over there I was cooking it and thawing it I've got spinach in it and carrots just because I add that to all of my meat mixture to add some more vitamins to things for the kids to eat so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna cut up an onion real quick and fry it with that you can add anything to this it's basically a pizza casserole and you top it with um, biscuits really simple really simple way to do it and I've got ham this was lunch meat ham and we didn't use it I used poor boy subs and I um, froze those which I have in my freezer which is good so these I'm um, just chopped up so this I'm gonna add I took some bacon bits had some bacon bits put them on a paper plate put them in your microwave and they'll crisp right up because the other stuff weighs it's kind of gummy and yucky so this is a little bit here and I've got a whole lot of pepperoni so I've got a lot of pepperoni so that is what I'm going to top mine with but I'm going to chop up the onion fried over here and then we'll put that down and we'll layer it with all the meat it's delicious I'm gathering fragments and using this other onion here I'm just going to chop it up The original recipe has everything mixed together. I'm going to do mine different. I'm going to put my meats on the bottom and then I'm going to cut up my biscuits and mix that with the um, pizza spaghetti sauce and put that on. We're going to layer ours a little bit different. Make it more like a, what is it? Is it Chicago style where the meat's on the bottom? I can't remember. I feel like that's Chicago style. So I'll put pepperoni in the bottom because it'll be greasier. So I'm going to grease my 9 by 13 and then just add everything on top. Okay, so for this, this can of spaghetti sauce was $3, so I've used about half of it. That's $1.50 to feed our whole family. So this is really inexpensive. You want to make it so that your biscuits are not sticking together so that they have room to puff up individually. So just mix them up and then I'm going to pour it on top. Okay, gathering those fragments using all that cheese up. This is really full. I hope it doesn't overflow. I hope so, we'll see. Um, since I've got my oven going, I might as well just cook this and bake this right now or save it till dinner. What I like to do is cook once and be done for the day, especially in the summer, it's hot. If you keep this thing going in the morning and then have to run it again at night, you're wasting power and electricity. So cook once, just keep it covered and warm. If you gotta reheat it, put it in the microwave. So this is gonna go in the oven.
Okay, that's going for 350 in the um, oven there. It might puff up a little too much. We're just gonna see, but that's okay. So that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner all cooked in the morning. I'm gonna be done making food. Part of being frugal is gathering up the remains so they don't get lost. So taking the rest of the spaghetti sauce, putting containers and freezing it for another day. Okay, so we've got the meals laid out for the family. Let's go to us mamas or us women. Now, like I'd love to say we can eat the same food as everybody else and sometimes it does good, but not all the time. <laughs> so, as you get older, as you go through different changes in your life, I get that and so sometimes I find myself, I have to eat differently than my family and uh, just the way it is, I know, it's not fair. <laughs> so, you can make something for yourself separately from your family that's eating it as well. So, not that you can't have the wonderful egg casserole right here that came out, the pizza that stuff, delicious it is, puffing up and going over a little bit. I should have used a deeper pan. Live and learn, it's okay. It'll just overflow a little bit, hopefully not too bad. And then um, the, like I said, the lunch, which is over here, the um, tortillas and that. If you don't wanna eat that, you wanna eat something a little bit healthier, make yourself something that you can make a bulk, a, a lot of, and you can have it for a few days. Then it's not inexpensive. So for myself, I do like to do, like I love to say I love to have salads every day. That's like, that's awesome. But you know, in reality, no, I buy all that salad stuff and I eat it for like a day or two. And then it's like, eh, who wants to have salad when you have delicious, you know, egg casserole or pizza pop-up casserole. So I opt to stay away from those. Not all the time, it's just not my favorite. So something that I have done is either make like a big pot of soup that I enjoy eating, like vegetable soup. That's a really good way to like cabbage vegetable soup. You can make a whole lot and freeze it. But something I've been enjoying lately is a Mediterranean salad. So this you can do big pasta, you can do whatever. I've been doing the HelloFresh meals and then they would do this um, couscous dish. I don't even know what they call it, but it's got um, tiny, It's usually it's couscous. Let's see what it is, couscous dish. I don't have any couscous, but I have that tiny, tiny pasta, which I'll show you. It looks like it. It just pops up a little bit bigger. It looks like a bigger couscous. And then I just mix all my ingredients, and it's a can of chickpeas. I've got some feta cheese. If I had tomatoes, I'd put those. I don't. I have a cucumber, and then it's olive oil. It, I'm going to use Italian seasoning and I have dill weed. And then your, um, I'm also, you don't have to, you can put olives, you can put whatever, whatever you want because no one else can eat it. Myself, I like artichoke hearts. But if you don't have artichoke hearts, you know what, just use chickpeas. Whatever frugality you can use. I just have these and no one will eat that but me. So I will put these in as big chunks and absolutely love these and eat them up. So I'm going to mix all that in this bowl and put these in little glass bowls. That's something I can grab out and eat so I'm not, you know, eating the tortilla and beans and cheese, which is okay. It's just not good for when you get a certain age and you got to watch what you eat more. So I'll put everything in here and this is an easy, easy dish. So I've got meals for myself here. This is good. If I want to eat the food, I can, but you know what? If I go, and let's make a better choice, Amy, I would choose this. This is really good and simple and delicious. That's the key is if you have something made up, even if you want to do salads, make them up. You can make them up for a few days and they'll last in your refrigerator. They'll make up for like a week if you layer them correctly. Liquid at the bottom, not at the top. It will be good. So this is good. So I've got this. The pizza thing is still cooking. You know what? A thing I noticed is um, that you don't have to go without his treats. <laughs> You can have treats. I think in times of uh, lean, there's always like inexpensive treats. You can buy a lot of junk food to eat, <laughs> to fill up, but you can also make things homemade. So something, these were all favorite meals I've had from like our Mennonite family. They always had cookies. Like it didn't matter what house she went to, every lady would open up their cookie jar and offer the kid a cookie. So I'm like, cookies, that's good. I don't like, I got sticky stuff <laughs> that's sticking in my finger. I don't, I don't do cookies very well because I like cookie bars. I don't like to take the time, but I'm gonna take the time today. So what I'm gonna do, there is more on my finger. 
is I bought these morsels at our um, discount store. Now, I was gonna put it like, it's got chocolate chips, waffle, comb bits, and marshmallows. I was gonna do it and put it like in a mix to eat, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to make the recipe they have in the back. So this is hot fudge sundae ice cream sandwiches. Now, I'm gonna make these as cookies that they can eat. I might make them into ice cream, I don't know, I might not. I might just be like, let's eat these and put ice cream on them. Because I have some that don't do ice cream and do dairy free, I just don't wanna make too much up in case they don't love it. So I'm gonna mix the recipe that's on the back here up. I also have a little bit of peanut butter chocolate chips, so I'm gonna use those up and I have a little bit of extra chocolate, like very small. So I'm gonna use that up too, so gather your fragments, cause you do, um, that's, that's what I'll do. So that's recipe easy. So let me put this in the fridge and I'll mix this up in my mixer. Okay, so I had to give myself a little break here for a little bit and clean up my kitchen and sit for a few minutes. My pizza, I had to let it bake longer. You know what I need to do? You need to cover it a little bit because if you do it in a nine by 13 like I did and you fill it up as much as I did, that middle wants to stay gooey while the rest cooks. So if you put it on right away, your cheese is gonna stick to it. So what I did is I, you could probably spray, learn, live and learn, do as I do as I say, not as I done, as I done, as I done, as I did. But what I did is um, you can either spray your tin foil, cover it first, let it bake for about a half hour, and then take it off. That'd probably be ideal. So what I did is I cooked it obviously without, and then um, the outside is nice and done, but the middle is still gooey. So I just covered it with foil, it won't stick to it, and then it's cooking the inside. So probably a few more minutes. So that stays in for about, it's almost been an hour about 40 minutes, that'll be good. So now I'm gonna do my cookies, put them on a cookie sheet here and bake them in the oven and then guess what? I am done for the day. Let me give you, while I'm waiting for the oven, let me give you a few tips of how to feed your family inexpensively because a lot of you ask how to do that. So these meals are all inexpensive to do. You can do them fr frugality, frugally, um, by just doing, you know, by substituting things, whatever you have in your pantry. Don't go to the store and buy things. Use what you have up in your pantry first. The um, And then what I would do, like we will have this, girl, she's here. I put a side with it. You know what I have is I have celery and I have peanut butter. So we'll make some sides. We'll have peanut butter and celery on the side with it. Or if you have some, and I have carrots, I can cut up carrots. I can have carrots with it. That'd be a good side. For dinner, what I'm going to do is I'm pulling out, like pull out stuff that you have. Like we have applesauce. I have my last two containers of applesauce and that lasted me a whole year. So that's a good thing. I have to look back and see how much I made last year so I can do it again this year. So take your applesauce or something, maybe got some frozen fruit, pull that out for to serve with dinner tonight with your pizza casserole. So just kind of gather up, pull up, pull in some sides, some veggies. If you can't do fresh, your next best option is gonna be frozen. If you can't do frozen, then your next option is gonna be canned. So, and then, you know, just, you do what you can do and what you can afford. Don't get hard on yourself. You can't go buy fresh strawberries right now. They're actually not too bad, but let's pretend they're really expensive. And if you can't do that, guess what? Then find a different fruit that isn't expensive or get some frozen ones that you can use. There's always something that's kind of in season that's a little bit less expensive and you can do a lot with. Like the apples, I was able to get those last year for so cheap, so cheap. So you know what? I made a ton of applesauce and froze it. And guess what? Through the winter and like even now, like when things are expensive, but through the winter when there's not a lot of fresh stuff, I was able to pull that out and we were able to eat it. So that was something, I didn't add sugar to it, it worked. So just do that. If you can can, have a garden, that's great. We have a mountain, people think I should, have a, a garden. I don't have a flat place at all, like 
at all. I can do container gardens and we will do that eventually, but right now we don't have that and don't want that expense of purchasing all the containers just yet. We will, the only flat place we have is over here behind me and that is where our pool is and that's it. So as we build more on our land and we do more things, we're gonna be putting in some walls, retainer walls, and then we'll make some flat areas. We're gonna do like the raised gardens, but it's it, it's a process. It's just like everything else. You can't have it all today. And so, if you know, do what you can do. If you can't do it, if you have the produce available to you, go get it. And that's, that's the key is whatever you can do for your family. If you have to go, if it's, maybe it'll be a good investment for you to go purchase things and grow things in it. Whatever you can do, whatever you can do, I can buy my groceries pretty cheap here, not too expensive. They're definitely gone up in price, but not like so crazy where I'm like, oh, I can't do that. So I just do something different. That's the key. So just do what you can do for your family and leave the rest up to God. That's what I say. If you can get a lot of pasta cheap, feed your kids pasta. Whatever it is you can do for your family. So I've got applesauce, I'm gonna put that in the freezer. My cookies, I'm gonna start putting them on the a cookie sheet here and we're gonna put them in the oven. I'm sure these are gonna be delicious. They smell really good. The first batch, especially not if, if like never made these before, I don't know if they're gonna get flat or what they're gonna do. So do a test run and put it, space them out enough and then just bake them in the oven. These are nine to 11 minutes at 350. Cookies, not bad. Like pretty good, just like a chocolate cookie. So not bad at all. They're definitely not flat, but I guess, I think they said in the thing to flip them over when they come out, maybe to make them flatter, but it, whatever. My kids will just eat them as cookies. Forget the ice cream. We don't need all that extra. This is delicious enough. So these are coming in. We're getting there and I'm almost done with my day, which is good. So it's almost heading up lunchtime here for myself. This is what I like to do, get all my food done in one day. If you can't, I mean, obviously you don't do YouTube, so you don't need to film all your stuff like I'm doing. <laughs> so take some of these recipes and use them with your family to spread out for the whole day. Delicious things. But if you want to get your baking done early, get your baking done early. I would recommend doing your, I did a lot of baking at nighttime um, when the house, like back in Michigan, I did it because I could open the windows and it'd be a lot cooler. It's, it, it is cooler here in the mountains right now, but not always. So just um, just a way to cool off your house, not make your electric bill so high. Because obviously having the oven on during the day when it's the hottest time of day is not a very frugal thing to do. So keep it on just once, like myself, cooking everything at once. So my oven is just gonna be used and I'll be finished with using it and then it shut off, I won't do it anymore. And I'll just cover the pizza casserole right there and leave it and then we'll eat in a few hours for dinner tonight. So it's good, we're doing good. So let me get these cookies off here and get another batch in. So I am finished with my day in the kitchen. So these were some delicious meals that we are gonna enjoy the entire day in my family. And they're inexpensive. I don't feel like I just broke the bank trying to make them. It was just gathering up things that I have in my home. That is the key, trying to find basic recipes. Look up basic cooking and more. That's gonna be your best bet. Don't always go for like the fancy, what's in the latest magazine or the latest 
the, the internet, the, the new, the new ch uh, trend to make, because you're always going to have to buy more things. Think basic cooking. Get back to a more, a little bit more plainer, some more staples, things that you have in your home. And if you don't have them, go, okay, what else can I make? Let's find something else, because there's always something you can make based on what you have. I know they have apps out there where you can just type in your ingredients and it gives you like recipes and things that you can make out of it. I mean, there is, there is no excuse not to cook plain. <laughs> Not to cook basic because there is such a variety of tools out there to do those things. But I just made four of when I make five delicious recipes the breakfast, brunch, the sandwiches for lunch, the dinner, and then the food for myself, which I already ate, which was really good for my breakfast, and then the cookies, which are going to be enjoyed today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some good ideas for your family. Remember to gather up your fragments so that nothing is lost. Look in your pantries, look in your freezers, type in those ingredients on the internet. It will come up with some recipes for things you can make. And if you look at one that looks really good and go, okay, I don't have that, but can I substitute something else? That is the key. There is no excuse to not be able to feed your families inexpensively, even during a time like this, which is crazy. I know, because you can still come up with some meals. You just have to change your way of thinking. It might not be what you're used to eating, but there's always something you can make. There is, you know, we might not be able to have the three course meal, the steak like we used to have, or the chicken, or whatever, whatever is low in abundance in your area. You just have to think differently. Change your mindset about, okay, it's food, it's to eat. I just have to be able to eat and get fuel for my body and feed my family. How can I do that? Think around, look around and go, okay, I have these ingredients, what can I make with it? And then you can come up and try it and you know what? And Sometimes you make things and you're like, oh, that's not very good. Or sometimes you make it you're like, oh, no, don't do that recipe. I've done that many times where I've made a recipe. I'm like, oh, no, no, not the favorite recipe. But I was like, well, this is dinner tonight. So this is what we're going to eat. Tomorrow I'll make something that I know you guys like. So always do that in your family. If you've got to do one that you know nobody's going to like, go, okay, well, this is dinner tonight. Tomorrow we will have whatever, whatever their favorite is or whatever one of their favorites so that they're not deprived when you have to go through hard times. But always a way that you can save some money making meals and like i said an abundance of youtube videos out there an abundance of apps out there to help save there is a lot of information out there for everybody sometimes you have to dig for it but it is definitely worth it and it's good to be able to save that money to be able to feed your family inexpensively so all right you guys have a fantastic rest of your day remember you are designed you are created and you are selected by god to do great wonderful things you are and i'm excited to hear all the testimonies and this you guys share a lot of stories with me and a lot of emails and it just blesses my heart to go okay that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome what god's doing in your life and i love hearing that you know the bible says how do we overcome the world by the word of our testimony when you share with others the goodness of god and what god has done for you and what he's doing in your life and that just makes encourages people to go okay I want that. I want to have that encouragement in my life. So thank you for encouraging me always. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'm going to see you tomorrow with another video. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.